Many Ugandans share uncensored content through online platforms like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and other sites to inform their followers or generate traffic and attract advertisers to their sites. However, this free flow of online information could soon be a thing of the past if proposed amendments to the current laws are adopted. So we are looking at uh, what is in bad taste, what is in good taste, uh, what is outrightly false and malicious, even in Uganda. Every day, there are about 11 million people online on these channels. Eh? So you can imagine the damage that can do to someone. Some might view this as an infringement on freedom of expression and media as enshrined in Article 29 of the Constitution. But it also talks about being responsible when we communicate. Eh? So the review is intended to, to ensure that uh, people have freedom, but they exercise freedom with responsibility. With presidential elections just over a year away, there are also fears that stricter laws on online media might be used to target the opposition and the kind of election-related information they can disseminate. Commissioner Wetessa denies this. We started consultations when elections were still four years away. So it can't be that we are doing this because of elections. However, in the case of elections, we don't think that everyone should be issuing results, for example. What if you distribute results and it emerges from each of your sources that three candidates have won an election in courts? Then who of the three winners is the actual winner? Which is why we think that in the case of elections, the media should quote results as released by the Electoral Commission. The commissioner was speaking at the ministry's annual sector review which outlined proposals to improve the sector's performance in the third national development plan. Minister of ICT and National Guidance, Frank Tumwebaze, said government was working towards phasing out 2G mobile services. We've set up minimum speeds for telecommunication companies. So minimum 3G should be for the villages and 4G minimum should be for the urban areas. The sector priorities for NDP 3 are expanding connectivity, creating jobs through ICT, regulating and improving the telecom sector, promoting e-government, and improving how agencies communicate government programs. Edward Mhumza, NTV.